if it is or if it ain't, it's going to come out. Good morning, everybody. It's your girl, Miracle Sims, and you're listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your name, little of inspiration, the juice. It is September the 29th, 2023, and today the topic is, you think this is a game? <laughs> you think this is a game, y'all. <laughs> Happy Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope that you all had a wonderful day day yesterday mine was just fine um it was a thursday y'all y'all know my thursdays i um worked at church um only slight differences i mean we got breakfast instead of bringing a lunch and um what else Uh, oh i ended up staying a little bit longer because i helped out with uh getting things together for the new series that's coming out the church and whatnot and so yeah um that's the only significant thing to share in regards to yesterday, but who Lord, uh, as for this morning, <laughs> um, you know, I was sitting here thinking like right before I went live, I'm like, you know, if anybody come across me, man, I guess this might be for you because I mean, I, I'm not sitting here trying to act like I'm, you know, some major person with a major platform or whatever the case may be. But the stuff that I feel like the Lord be sharing with me be like major stuff where I'm like, Maybe more people need to hear this, but hey, I don't know. Maybe it's just you, right? Whoever you are. Maybe you're just so important that you need to hear these things. Uh, Obviously, you are important to the Lord. I mean, of course. But what I'm saying is that, again, there's still power in one-to-one-to-one. So, with that being said, uh, do you think this is a game? I mean, I guess that's the question we should ask um, ourselves today. Um, If I tell you guys the inspiration, basically... um, Last night, um, actually midday or whenever I had got back home at the church, I mean, at the work at the church, <laughs> um, at some point I was, I was kind of catching up on things I had missed cause I hadn't been on my phone, like doing all my little, you know, stuff or whatever. And so I, I got back home. I was like, just relaxing and catching up on like messages or whatever. And all of a sudden th- that phrase you know, um, you think this is a game came into my heart and mind. I'm like, okay. And then next thing I know after that, um, it was this, this concept of like, I guess this message is more so for believers than anything. I mean, yeah, it's for all humans too, but it's for those that claim to believe and then don't live accordingly. You know what I mean? Or you claim to believe, but then you're not going by the Bible or whatever the case may be. Right. It's like, we think this is a game. I don't think we take it as seriously as we should. Um, especially, again, if you proclaim to be a believer, then that means that you believe that the Bible is true. And that means that you believe the things that Jesus said and did and, and all of that to where it's like, if you're not living accordingly as a believer, then you kind of playing with fire. You think this is a game or whatever the case is. You don't think it's real enough to live accordingly. And I guess that was, like, some of my questions. <laughs> um, so I, I ended up doing a little bit of studying yesterday um, and whatnot. I was like, well, I guess I get the juice at any time. The Lord, give me some juice. <laughs> uh, you know, I already did the juice this morning. <laughs> no, but, um, I mean, well, yeah, he will speak to you at any time. So that's something to be aware of. But um, basically, I, as I was going deeper yesterday about that idea and making a note to to remember to study it again this morning. Um, one of the things that I came across last night was um, an article on GodQuestions.org. And it's called, How Do I Know the Bible is Not Just Mythology? So um, I ended up sharing it on like just about all of my social media. Because I was like, okay, Lord, I mean, you gave it to me right now. So obviously maybe somebody needs to hear and see this now. Um, what I just read. Um 
So you guys can go and take a look at it and whatnot. I mean, if you feel led to do so. But um, I found it to be quite interesting. So, okay, so this morning, um, no, wait. So last night, I woke up around 12.23, randomly. I made a note of it, went back to sleep, X, Y, and Z. Next thing I know, I'm waking up again around 5.52. And <laughs> um, I just make a note of these things. Y'all know I, I tend to, like, make a note of these things now. And I go and I, you know, look up the verses and I Google Bible and, the you know, those numbers just to see, right? But I didn't look at anything. I just, you know, did stuff. And then I, um, so this morning when I woke up, you know, I did my little business, whatever, and then... I started doing the juice. I started to like, I listened to the Soul Space app, which I was kind of distracted by, but I was listening to it. And and then after that, I started to, you know, look into the verses that I had made a note of with the concept of you think this is a game in my heart and mind. And y'all, I was like, okay. <laughs> so let's get into this. So that's how I got to it. Let, let me share what the Lord has shared with me this morning. So. First of all, this this phrase, you think this is a game, um, it's slang, you know what I mean? And so I did uh, look look that up. I think it was in the um, Urban Dictionary. And so the, the phrase uh, or the definition for that phrase says, a question you ask someone when they act like life is just a disposable waste. I thought that really stood out, to be honest, the fact that they said that last part. When you think that life is a disposable disposable waste, a lot of us think that way. Now, again, maybe not believers, um, but then maybe again with our actions. But that's a whole nother conversation. Um, but those that, for example, I guess they don't have hope in Christ, right? Then they tend to think that we're just, I guess. I mean, well, we struggle with what we are. <laughs> I'll just put it like that. Um, we know that there's the concept of us evolving from you know i guess apes or monkeys or whatever the case may be but the interesting thing is there's still apes and monkeys so i don't know you know why didn't those ones evolve i mean we could ask all the questions um uh, you know uh, or there's the concept of just i guess being cells or whatever that just happened you know i guess i heard like spines or something i listen i don't know people have a lot of ideas of what how they think we got here and, and what we are and all that type of stuff so that's that's again you guys can go deeper but but usually those that those type of mindsets they don't have much substance behind like life in general and, and i say that because like if you listen to i guess like different debates and stuff like that and people are like oh what's the meaning of life uh unfortunately <laughs> uh what's the man name um I'm thinking about that Frank Turek debate um, with uh, the, the I don't talk about the guy so much this year. Now his mind, I mean, his uh, name went away from my mind. Chris, Chris Hitch, Christopher Hitchens. And, okay, I know he might have been joking, you know. He might have been joking with his response. But my thing is, do you have anything of substance to say to the question? <laughs> you know what I mean? But anyway. Basically, he was asking the question about the, somebody was uh, asking him about the meaning of life or whatever in the in the um, in their Q and A session, and or like you know what else that he could possibly could have done with his life outside of just debate about whether God is real or whatever the case may be, and or something along those lines. Y'all gotta be, look at these things yourself. But basically, I just remember him saying something along the lines of like, oh. You know, oh, you know, your sex is important to me, X, Y, and Z. And don't get me wrong, you know, I got a whole little platform here. It's called GSL. I mean, you know. <laughs> but, I mean, there's more to life than that, if it makes any sense, you know. And so, anyway, you can go deep with that on your own and, and you know, confirm what you believe what I'm saying here. But, again, without God, without, the, you know, the morals and values of Christ and what the Bible is sharing with us, like, there's not much left to, I don't even know how to say this, like, to, I guess, live for? Is that a good way to say it? You know? um, Because then you feel like, oh, we're just nothing. We don't have any meaning. We don't have any purpose. You know, and X, Y, and Z. And then we, people are struggling with that idea and feeling like they're meaningless and purposeless and valueless and all of that. Um, And again, we can see this all around us. Um, Unfortunately, again, the concept of, you know, suicide is... is them a lot from that you know uh people are feeling like no one cares feeling like they're not worth anything or whatever the case may be 
And, you know, people do a lot of things for a lot of reasons. But just trying to give examples, y'all. So, anywho. So, I found that to be interesting, to say the least, basically. Um, the question you ask someone when they act like life is just a disposable way. If you think this is a game. Now, the uh, <laughs> the second quote-unquote definition on Urban Dictionary says uh, the same thing, but then it ended with uh, a question you ask someone when they act stupidly. Now, listen, I ain't, look, look, <laughs> I ain't trying to call nobody stupid or nothing like that. But at the same time, I mean, you know, I think we all have been there, though. You know, I definitely have acted stupidly in my life. You know, I think back often, but like, ooh, where would I be? <laughs> you know? Or... Not even just where would I be, but like thanking God that things didn't like be worse. You know, um, a lot of the situations that I've, I've been in in life could have been like detrimental. Like I probably wouldn't be here today talking <laughs> or whatever the case may be. If things were just a little bit differently, if not for the grace of God and his protection or whatever the case may be. And so anyway, we can go deeper with all of that. But um, do we think this is a game? Do we think life is a game? Do we think? The things in the Bible is not real or a game or a myth, right? Or things of that nature. We can go deeper with this this question. But let me share with y'all these verses <laughs> that I came across with times that the Lord woke me up. So I told y'all he woke me up around 12, 23 last night, right? I made a note. Didn't look at no verses, nothing. I look at the verses after I started getting into this. And this verse says, uh, John 12, 23, I was led there. And it says, and Jesus answered them saying, the hour is come that the Son of Man should be glorified. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> now, that don't sound bad. That don't sound like a bad thing. Did, oh, the hour has come. God, you know, Jesus is going to be glorified. But at the same time, when you see something about hour has come, you like, ooh, is time up? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, time is ticking. That's the vibe I was getting when I read that verse. I was like, okay. I just made a note of it. It sounded good. I just was like, okay. And then I went and looked at... Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> the time when I woke up around, what was it, 552? And that led me to Isaiah 52 and 5. It say, <laughs> Now therefore, what have I here, saith the Lord, that my people is taken away for naught? They that rule over them make them to howl, saith the Lord, and my name continually every day is blasphemed. Mm. Now listen, you guys can read other versions of that that maybe break this down in another way. But even this this old um not old testament this um King James version is still kind of yeah I say powerful in its own way because it's saying here so God is saying based in this verse here is that my people are being taken away for nothing. Like at the end of the day, like I guess with all the different warnings and whatnot. And listen, now I ain't sitting here trying to act like I'm a, a prophet liar or nothing. You know what I mean? I'm just saying, I just be sharing with y'all what, what God leads me to study in the morning times. And I feel like there's been a lot of warnings over the past few weeks. I'm over here like, Lord, why you got me warning people? Like, who is it? So it might be whoever you are, or you're so important to hear these warnings, y'all. Like, we're being like. With all the warnings, right, with what the Bible has to say, with all the things that God has in place, with the with the earth around us being a testimony, with ourselves being a testimony to God and his creation and his greatness and all the wonderful things, um, we're being taken for nothing, ultimately. Like, if we, I guess what I'm receiving here is that if we, um, how can I say it? Um, I'm not saying fall short because we all fall, fall short, but if we, I guess, neglect and ignore the warnings um, and things of that nature, then we're truly being taken for nothing because God has done everything to uh, make a way. You know, he's done everything to make a way and to show us that he's here. Now, I ain't gonna lie. I was going deeper about all this and I was asking some more questions because I was like, well, Lord, you know, there's a lot of things out here, you know, and a lot, obviously a lot of options and stuff like that. Now, the interesting thing is God didn't lead me to no more verses. So I ain't got no more verses other than the Bible verse of the day. And we'll get to that in a minute. But what he did leave me is um, for y'all to go deeper. Because, I mean, I guess the, the thing is there's so many different things where, again, sure, it's it's good to go and hear a word. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's good to hear what the pastor got to say. Listen to the juice in the morning. All this stuff is good. But at the end of the day, if you're not reading the Bible for yourself and getting it for yourself, then that's probably part of the issue of why we think this is a game. Because we're not taking it seriously enough to, to to even study. 
And that was another thing, too, as I was going deeper. Um, I think it was in, I think I put the verses in the go deeper section. But honestly, this is the fault of the believers, you know, um, because a lot of us, again, we're claiming to believe, but then we're not living accordingly. Or we're not even studying the Bible for ourselves to know what it says, but then we claim to be believers. Like, uh, and I, hey, I'm, I'm guilty too. Look, look, I just started doing juice April first, twenty twenty. Y'all know that, and I just started like take being intentional about you know, okay, I'm gonna study every day, and not knowing that I was gonna do this every day, <laughs> you know, and not knowing that God was gonna actually have something for me to say every day. But you know, that was my first step, and and obviously y'all know I'm what thirty seven now. So that means I, over 30 some years, over the last what three years out of the 30 something, I started to be intentional about studying. And and that's the thing. It's like a lot of us there are, are like that. You know what I mean? A lot of us still don't take our time to study. You know what I mean? A lot of us, uh, like I said, I was reading the back in the day before I started doing this, I would just read the Bible verse of the day and be like, okay. <laughs> okay, I got some word in. <laughs> but did you really get a word? You know, I'm sitting here wondering, like, what all I missed over the years now. Because, again, with the fact that, like, because I, I would get woken up at, like, random weird times, like, uh, for years. You know what I mean? Dreams, all kinds of stuff that I kind of would pay attention to, but not really. You know? and But now, you know, I'm seeing that the Lord has something to share with me every day. And then the dreams and stuff go to another level. And then now... You know, sometimes people are calling me to interpret their dreams, and I, I'm not trying to act like I'm, you know, Joseph and interpreting dreams and know everything. But I mean, I share with you guys the way that I interpret. But thing is, it's like God is speaking to us, right? And He He wants to have a relationship with each and every one of us. Um, so at the end of the day, um, it's up to us to get into the Word for ourselves and to. Uh, to take this a little bit more seriously. I mean, at the end of the day, this is not a game. It's a life and death decision. And, um, you know, again, the, the the decision is only good and evil. It's not anything else. It's not, oh, well, maybe there's a gray area. It doesn't seem to be. I'm just saying when you're reading the Bible and stuff. And that was the other thing that I was asking myself. When well, asking myself, I was asking the Lord today. It was like, how could someone study or read the Bible and still not... I mean, I well, I know how we can do it. Basically, it's because we, we go, maybe we'll read and we're trying to look for something in particular. Or we want to look for something that fits what we think. Or we want to look for something that, um, you know, to use as ammunition against the word of God and things of that nature. Um, so it's us at the end of the day that's flawed about how we read and study. Um, but for those that are actually seeking the Lord, right? I mean, you know. Let's get into the word and then you know he will reveal himself to you constantly. Um, at least that's all that's happening with me. I'm not sitting here trying to again act like I know it all, but I mean I just find it to be very interesting, um, you know, this whole journey. And so basically what I'm encouraging and inspiring you guys to do today is check out these different um articles that are in the uh at gotquestions.org. There are like four or five of them that I put in the go deeper section today. Um they answer a lot of the questions that I think will hopefully help us in this area. You know, you guys can, again, check out that one that was talking about how do I know uh, the Bible is not just mythology. Um, there's another one that I read with that I got led to after I started looking into this. And um, and it was talking about what is blasphemy. Because I felt led to go deeper about um, that verse I just read, Isaiah 52 and 5. And and it, the very first thing that I saw when I went to GodQuestions.org and put that verse in was what is blasphemy. So, we might need to study that today. Um, there's another one that says, is there any conclusive proof to God? That might be another one to look into. And then another one is, is there a proof for the interpretation of the Bible? I mean, um, oh, and then there's another one that's also, how does God reveal himself to us? I think I'm, I, I can't remember if I put that one in the go deeper section, but it was one that I was like looking at as well. I mean, you, if you got questions, ask the questions, you know what I'm saying? And go deeper and ask the Lord the questions and, and Seek the wisdom that has been put in place. Like, we have no excuse. Like, at the end of the day. Um, like, yeah, I feel like we're more separate from God now than the biblical figures was. Um, and then maybe even the generation before us, which we kind of talked about yesterday, the generations before us, um, obviously tapped into 
the things of God on a whole nother level than we are. But um, but we're the ones with all the technology and, and easy access to information and, and all this other type of stuff. But um, it's not a game. Basically, I guess I'm just here to remind us all that this is not a game. It seems to be a very, very serious decision and choice that we all have to make. And, um, you know, I hope and pray that, you know, those that are listening to the sound of my voice or whatever the case may be, like we are not lost in, not the sauce, <laughs> lost in the process, you know, of um, asking the questions and, and seeking the word and whatnot. Um <sighs> I mean, there were some more things that came into my heart and mind as I was studying all of this, but I guess I didn't say what I needed to say, man. Just go deeper for yourself. You know, try to get the answers to the questions that you have. I mean, like I said, GodQuestions.org is an awesome resource. I've shared um, a variety of resources with you guys that you guys can peruse and let marinate on your hearts, souls, and minds. But, I mean, I guess that's the juice, y'all. This ain't no game, so stop acting like this is a game. Um... Anyway, <laughs> uh, the Bible verse of today is Matthew 22, 37 through 39. It says, Jesus said unto him, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Friends, I hope you all enjoyed this juice this morning. Thank you so much for listening to God, Sex, and Love. Your daily dose of inspiration, the juice. I pray you guys can go forth and have a wonderful day. And I look forward to talking to you all tomorrow, if the Lord's will. Just a reminder, tonight we have a new episode of the GSL Talk Show coming out. It's with Pastor Corey Rosinski. One of them. <laughs> you guys can check that out. And, um, you know, I hope that it encourages you and inspires you. Go deeper, y'all. Go deeper for yourself. Look, this ain't no game. <laughs> y'all have a great day. Bye-bye. Did you know that you can support us for just 99 cents a month? That's right, friends. You can support everything that we do here at GSL for just 99 cents a month. Take a look around wherever this post is. You might see a link or maybe even a button that says support. Go there, check out the options, consider supporting us because, you know, we enjoy bringing you all the daily inspiration as well as the weekly talk show, but we have much, much more to come. Thank you so much for the consideration. Bye-bye.